welcome back to another tying video. In today's video, we're tying a fly that I call the Descopin Streamer. I'm gonna give you guys three reasons why I love this fly so much, like I do in every video. Um, I think the, the first reason that I like this fly so much is that it sinks fast. You tie this fly up, get it wet, start swinging it, and it's getting down into the zone. Um, you know, it's it's limited in materials and bulk, and that helps that fly get down. And I think a lot of the a lot of times, um, you know, the difference between catching and not catching is having a fly that gets into that fish's zone. So that's reason number one that I love this fly. Reason number two that I like this fly is that it's a quick tie. You'll see in this video, I think I tie it in five minutes, and you could do it quicker if you really needed to. Um, you can whip these things up before you go on a trip. You don't have to waste a lot of time. Um, tying, you know, a lot of streamers are real complicated and this one's real simple, but it still works. So that's reason number two that I like this fly. Okay, reason number three that I like this fly is that it's versatile. You can tie it on a jig hook and run it on your Euro rig. You can, or put it underneath an indicator and dead drift it, or you can tie it on a straight shank hook and you can swing it and strip it. So um, it's a great fly for a lot of different scenarios and it translates over to different hook styles really well and different sizes as well. You could tie this thing in a micro size, like a size 14. Um, I usually tie these in about an eight to 10. Um, you could you could jumbo size it and go even bigger. Um, it's just a great all around versatile fly to tie for different rigs. That's reason number three. Let's get into tying that fly now. So I have an Umqua 400 BL hook here in a size eight with a Hanuk three and a half millimeter copper bead here. I have a strip of pine scroll that I've already cut off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this hook and I'm gonna spike it right through the center of that hook. So you can see it's through there kind of like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and reattach my hook to my vise. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want this, this is going to ride um, hook side the bead with the bead down. So the hook point is going to ride up. So it's going to invert like this in the water. So I want the top of the strip on top like that versus on top over here like this. It's a little bit of a pain, but I think it's worth it. So I'm going to take my thread and get this started right here. Just like this. You guys will probably think it's blasphemy that I'm using such a thin thread for this gel spun. I think this is 50 denier. So it's super thin, but I actually kind of like the, the thin stuff versus the thick stuff on this fly. I haven't seen it. It hasn't mattered for me. Um, and as far as durability goes, so now I flip the hook back over, spread that, those fibers just a little bit like this. And then I'm going to make just a few wraps over the top of this just to lock that zonker strip in in place just like this i'm going to move this back i'm going to advance forward just a little bit and then i'm going to take my sinyo's um fusion dub you can see there and i'm just gonna take this and dub it on Kind of loosely. This is going to be the body of the fly, and this doesn't have to be that perfect. Um, just adds a little bit of a, a little bit of a different green contrast to the zonker strip. I do a black version of this as well, so I would use your imagination on colors. So then I come up just like this, right? So just, there's a little bit of a gap there. And I'm gonna take um, some ice dub in a pearl color. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of this, not that much. And this is gonna be some flash underneath the body. And I'm gonna take this, pinch it just like this, wrap a few times, and then I'm gonna take this piece in front Pull it back just like that. 
And then I'm going to take a little bit of my Hin Spectra Dub, number 958. It's a red. You could use any red here. And I'm going to kind of do the same thing here. You might think you could skip this step, but I find that the red really pulls fish in. So I'm going to do that just like that right there. And then I'm going to take this zonker strip and capture that zonker strip just like this. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to clip this super close. And then I'm going to go ahead and lock that real tight right there. You can see these are kind of long. Sometimes I'll come in here and just kind of pinch those. It looks really good in the water when it starts swimming. Um, now I'm going to take my loop tool and I'm going to create a dubbing loop here, just a little one. Oh, let's see if I can get this. There we go. See that little loop there that was created. I'm going to take my zonker strip here now, just like this. And I'm going to jam that right in there just like that and then come in with my scissors and trim this just like this so we just have a little piece of that rabbit fur a lot of people wrap the zonker um, I think it builds up a bunch of bulk on the fly and I don't like it as much so I spun that up you can see you got a nice loop there I'll kind of come in and preen these back as I wrap. And I build up quite a bit of bulk with the the thread with the the actual fur. I don't and that's why I like to cut it off the the hide because I feel like when it's on the hide it builds up too much bulk for the amount of hair that I want there. Okay, so now I've captured that. Come in here. Trim that off. Kind of preen these back. I'll get my fingers wet for that. Kind of helps build up a good amount here. And then I'm going to come back in with that same red dubbing. And I'm going to add just a little bit of a hot spot on the collar of this fly. Come in here and whip finish this. few times you could add head cement if you wanted I don't really find it necessary for my style trim that off and then I'm gonna I'm gonna come in with a brush here and just kind of rough up this body a little bit here so that some of that sinews laser dub is coming out along with the other dubbings preen that back the fly is gonna ride like that in the water and then what I'll do is I'll come in and taper this piece of skin back here just to a point. Just I just like the way that looks. You don't have to do it, but that's your, your finished fly there. The, uh, the sculpin really seems to work. Magic is in those ice stubs. Fish it.